What's going on boys, it's Clements back on the mic, back with another banger of a video and today I'm doing something slightly different on the channel. Today I'm providing you guys with the best 10 operator skins to use in Warzone Pacific right now. This list is of course my own opinion, my own personal opinion based on experience and since I own almost every bundle from the in-game store, I feel like I've got a good understanding of how good each skin really is. Some are more for flexing purposes and some are more tactical to give you a potential slight advantage in game and that's what we're trying to go for in today's video however do know none of these skins included in this list are in a particular order and all skins are in mind for the large scale map caldera more than rebirth obviously with caldera having more vegetation and just being a larger map in general you can be more tactical in caldera whilst rebirth is just pure chaos but I mean, obviously, if you really wanted to, you could use these skins in Rebirth as well. By the way, before this video does start, if you are interested in obtaining any of these skins included in today's video, hit me up on my Twitter. My link is in the description down below of this video. If you're new to my channel or didn't know already, I do run a gifting service for my channel over on my Twitter page. Even if you're wondering if I had a specific skin for sale outside of this video, don't be afraid to hit me up on Twitter. But without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Like I did say, this list is in no particular order, but starting off this list with the skin coming at number 10, we have the Cannabush skin for the Woods Operator. This skin does come in the Stoner's Delight 2 Tracer Pack for Black Ops Cold War and set aside the irony of this skin belonging to a weed themed bundle. It is quite camouflage, obviously with the skin being all green. It's my third time saying it, but this list isn't in any particular order, but there is kind of a reason why I gave this skin for Woods the 10 placement, and it's mainly because there is one disadvantage of this skin. When you equip this skin in game there is a kind of smoke trail effect that kind of follows you around kind of like the smoke coming off a blunt. Obviously with this skin belonging to a cannabis themed bundle it's kind of like for cosmetic purposes and that's why I wouldn't usually recommend or suggest using these kind of fancy skins. It's probably the least tactical skin on this list in all honesty so it kind of deserves that 10th placement but from a distance you're definitely going to blend in with the caldera map. Now coming in at number 9 you guys probably guessed that this skin would be included in today's video one way or another at some point and at number 9 we do have the rose rook skin which is basically the all blacked out rose. Now you can't actually unlock this skin anymore unfortunately it did belong to a season I think it was season 5 during modern warfare seasonal content updates for warzone it was it belonged to the season 5 battle pass uh, so if you did obtain it during the battle pass and you've got it unlocked definitely recommend using the skin we're all familiar with this skin especially during the days of Verdansk, it was definitely overpowered back in the day in dark areas of Verdansk. It's since been nerfed and Caldera is a, a lot more open and a lot brighter of a map anyway, so it's not as good as it used to be. Back in the day before it got nerfed and when it first released, it was evidently and ultimately pay to win. It was really annoying to run into this skin when playing Wars and it still kind of is because it's got a little bit of a sweaty player stigma to it. If you basically equip this skin, you're automatically assumed as a Warzone sweat, but it's definitely still really good and viable to use. It's a really slim fit skin. Coming in at number 8, we do have the Wraith Disruptor skin, which came with the Season 3 Battle Pass during Cold War's life cycle. So much like the Rose Rook skin that we've just spoken about, it can't be obtained anymore. So if you didn't buy the Battle Pass during Season 3, then unfortunately you can't get this skin anymore. But if you do have it, I definitely recommend it. As you can see, it does share a lot of similarities with the Rose Rook skin making it really good to use if you don't own the rose skin this is a perfect and viable alternate skin to use coming in at number seven we have the kruger default phantom skin and the way you obtain the skin it's essentially all you have to do is own modern warfare 2019 so almost everyone will have this skin kruger always seems to get these camouflage looking skins assigned to him as an operator in the game. We've never actually seen Kruger's face, he always seems to have these coveralls that cover his face, so he really does blend in with the environment around him. Very good skin to use. Coming in at number... Fucking hell, man. Coming in at number six, we have the Woodland Cover skin that belongs to the SYD operator, and it comes with the Emerald Ranger bundle. As you can see, the skin is a partial ghillie suit, essentially, meaning you will blend in with the environment around you. So it's a pretty good skin to use. I've used it a few times, but I will say that I don't see it very often. I don't know if it's a very uncommon skin, whether that's because it's not very popular. I mean, it is a kind of shit bundle, to be honest with you, but I've never really seen it in the star rotation on my alternate account, so maybe it was only... Maybe it's quite a rare bundle, I'm not entirely sure. But if you do own the skin, definitely equip it. Now coming in at number five, we do have a Vanguard operator. We have the Francis Kingdom or Deep Root skin, whichever one you want to really use, they're kind of both the same. And that came with the season one battle pass for Vanguard. 
didn't think I would be including any Vanguard operators or skins because Vanguard cosmetics really do suck. We've only got just now gotten the Godzilla skin, which is really good. The best cosmetic by far we've gotten out of Vanguard. Probably one of the best cosmetics we've actually gotten out of any of the games included in Warzone. The reason why I'm including this one is because this came with the Season 1 Battle Pass when Caldera first dropped. So this skin was made and developed with Caldera in mind, making it really, really good. The colour palette of the map and this skin match perfectly, making it really, really good for camouflage purposes. You're blending with the map perfectly. There is a third alternate version of the skin, but out of all three, there's only two of them that are really viable. The third one doesn't look anything like Caldera. So yeah, fuck that shit. Now coming in at number four, we have the Port Nova Hypersonic skin. This skin did come and can be obtained with the Pro Pack that's currently still in store, I believe. Obviously, another Rose lookalike, so not much to say. It's just really, really good and really viable to use. Back in the days of Verdant, people that didn't have the Rose skin would basically use this skin to combat Rose, just because it's a black, slim fit skin. Coming in at number three, we have the Grinch Night Fang skin that belongs to, the, I think I'm going to butcher this, the Asan Boson bundle. Bet you were fire I didn't pronounce that correctly. This skin is obviously really good to use because it's a ghillie suit. Only thing that kind of gives it away is the mask, but from distance you're gonna blend in just fine. Second to last skin I'm gonna mention in today's list is the Everglade skin that belongs to the girl on operator. Now once again, another ghillie suit theme skin. Slightly more bushy than the previous skin, but a quick fact for all you guys that still believe in the myth that every hitbox on every operator is slightly different. It's not, every hitbox is the exact same on both male and female operators. So whilst it's it looks bushy it doesn't matter whatsoever if anything it'll probably make you blend in even more and lastly coming in at number one we have the all black milsim skin which comes in the balkan blue lightning bundle now this is the only bundle that i don't actually own it is in my star rotation but i've never really been able to justify buying it whilst it does look really really sick if you already own rose and there's not really much point it is basically an alternate rose skin but for a male operator so yeah that's all i've got for you guys today there's my personal top 10 most viable and tactical skins to be using in warzone pacific right now if you enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section also let me know if you guys will be interested in seeing another video like this or a video that's kind of different rather than looking at the most tactical skins we'll be looking at the most I guess you could say fashionable skins, the one that looked the coolest. Um, so yeah, just let me know if you guys would be interested in that. I'll definitely look into doing it. So yeah, I've been Clement, you've been absolutely amazing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out and take care.